topic which is Hazen postulate. Basically, Hazen postulate equation is used to calculate pressure drop in case of laminar flow. We have already seen an equation which is used to calculate pressure drop in case of turbulent flow and that was fanning equation. Now in today's session we will derive an equation which is used to calculate pressure drop in case of laminar flow and that is Hazen Postula equation. So let us start to derive. To derive Hazen Postula equation we have to take the assumptions. So first of all let us see which are the assumptions. First is steady flow of fluid through horizontal tube. In this case, we have derived the equation for horizontal tube and the flow of fluid is steady. Next assumption is flow is fully developed. That is a fully developed flow. Next is incompressible flow. The type of the fluid is incompressible flow and fluid flow in laminar region. That is for which we are deriving equation. So, fluid flow in laminar region. So, these are the assumptions we are taking for deriving the equation. Now, we have the equation for average velocity and pressure drop that we have seen in our previous lectures. Equation for average velocity and pressure drop. And these are u is equal to tau w r w upon 4 mu that is the equation for average velocity and equation for pressure drop delta p is equal to 2 tau w r w into delta l. So, these are the two equations from which we are deriving Hazen postulate equation average velocity and pressure drop. Now, from equation number 1 which is for average velocity we can write equation for tau w so, put the value of tau w from equation number 1 in equation number 2. Why in equation number 2? Because we want an equation for delta p. So, put value of tau w from equation 1 which is 4 mu u upon r w. In equation number 1, if I want to write equation in terms of tau w, then it is 4 mu u upon r w put that value of tau w in equation number 2. So, now equation number 2 becomes delta p is equals to 2 into 4 mu u upon r w square into delta l. Now, if I have horizontal tube of definite length l, at that time I can replace delta l with l and I can write this equation in terms of diameter also. So, put r w is equals to d by 2, diameter by 2 is radius. So, putting R w is equal to d by 2 and for definite length L, I can replace delta L with L. So, if we write in the equation in terms of diameter and L can be replaced by definite length L. So, now the equation is delta P is equal to 32 mu u L upon d square. Fine, I am just replacing R with d by 2 and delta L with L. So, 2 into 4 into 4 which is 32 mu u in place of delta L I have written L upon d square. So, this is the equation which is used to calculate pressure drop in case of laminar flow and it is known as Hazen postulate equation. This equation is very important while we are solving the examples. In example it is asked like that that calculate pressure drop for so and so situation. For that you have to first calculate the type of flow and if the type of flow is laminar then to calculate pressure drop you have to use Hazen Postula equation which is delta P is equal to 32 mu U L upon D square. So, this is Hazen Postula equation used to calculate pressure drop in case of laminar. Now, let us shift to another topic which is relation between friction factor and Reynolds number in case of laminar. To derive these, we have more two equations, average velocity and friction factor. We know the formula for average velocity and friction factor. 
u which is average velocity is equals to tau w r w upon 4 v mu my equation number 1 and friction factor f is equals to tau w upon rho u square by 2 which we can write as 2 tau w upon rho u square. Now I have two equations. Equation number 1, equation number 2. Equation 1 is for average velocity and 2 is for friction factor. Now from equation number 1 put the value of tau w in equation number 2. So f is equals to 8 mu u upon rho r w u square. Just putting value of tau w from equation number 1 in equation number 2 and simplify it. So you get the form f is equal to 8 mu u upon rho u square r w. Now again we are putting equation in terms of diameter that is put r w is equal to d by 2. So if we write in terms of diameter and after simplifying we get f is equal to 16 mu upon d u rho Fine. Just putting Rw is equals to d by 2. Now we know that Reynolds number Nre is equals to du rho by mu. See equation of f. f is what? 16 mu upon du rho by mu. So 16 mu upon du rho. So in place of du rho by mu you can put Nre. Fine. So now if we write in terms of NRE, then F is equals to 16 by NRE because in above equation F is equals to 16 mu upon du rho. That is 16 upon NRE. Fine. So F is equal to 16 by NRE for laminar flow only. So this equation shows the relation between Reynolds number and friction factor but only for laminar. So F friction factor is equal to 16 by NRE for laminar flow only. Clear? Now let us see another topic. For turbulent flow in pipes. In previous relation we have seen that relation between F and NRE for laminar flow. Now here we will see the relation between F and NRE for turbulent flow. For turbulent flow, turbulent flow is basically characterized by the presence of eddies. In turbulent flow there are number of eddies forms and the eddies are of various sizes, different different sizes. The turbulent flow is of great importance because it brings about mixing of fluid elements which results in higher rate of heat and mass transfer. Turbulent flow is very important in case of mixing. Turbulent flow in case of mixing results in high rate of mass and heat transfer. And the finding friction factor as a function of Reynolds number for turbulent flow through a smooth pipe is given as this is the empirical relation for friction factor and Reynolds number in case of turbulent flow. 1 upon root f is equal to 4 log into bracket NRE root f minus 0.4. This equation you have to remember this is an empirical equation for relation between friction factor and Reynolds number in case of turbulent flow. 1 upon root f is equal to 4 log into bracket NRE root f minus 0.4. This equation requires trial and error procedure for estimating friction factor. By using this equation you will never get friction factor in one step only. You have to follow trial and error procedure to get or to estimate friction factor value. Fine. So this is empirical equation to calculate friction factor in case of turbulent flow. Also it gives the relation between friction factor and Reynolds. Another empirical relation that can be used for estimating the friction factor from Reynolds number for turbulent flow is F is equal to 0.078 divided by NRE raised to 0.25. This is another relation which is used to calculate friction factor in case of turbulent flow for rough pipe. That equation is used for smooth pipe, this is used for rough pipe. So in turbulent flow we have two empirical equations which gives relation between friction factor and Reynolds number. 
or which is used to calculate friction factor in case of turbulent flow. That was the first equation and this is the second equation. The only disadvantage of using first equation was you have to go for trial and error procedure to estimate the value of friction factor. While in this second equation you will get the value of friction factor in just one step. Fine. So in today's session we have covered three topics. First was hazen Poshile equation. Second was the relation between friction factor and Reynolds number in case of laminar flow. And third was the relation between friction factor and Reynolds number in case of turbulent flow. And for that we have seen two equations. Okay. That's all for today's session. And I hope this session is clear to all. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.